Here is what to do after building your PC. Whether you already built your PC or you are going to build one, I want to show you the things to consider after building your PC, like programs to install, drivers, and everything that you need to know before you start gaming. And I want to make it as short as possible that way I do not waste your time and you get a lot of value out of this video. All the links to the tools that I'm going to mention today will be down below in the video description. That being said, let's start. The first thing that you have to do is installing Windows. To do this, you need a USB and once you have it inside of this USB, you just plug it into your motherboard USB port and then boom. You can activate Windows by buying the original one or by buying a third party key seller, which is much cheaper and it's going to give you windows anyway. Here is the part where you can make windows look nice and have a good aesthetic overall. So you can download programs like Raymeter, make it organized and then have a nice wallpaper. Once you finish that, I always recommend you downloading Google Chrome or a different browser from Microsoft Edge. But anyway, Microsoft Edge has been improving over the years. So you can try that if you feel like it's the right browser for you. And then I want you to install the proper drivers for your GPU and motherboard. Trust me, the GPU drivers are very important to install if you want the best gaming performance. If you have an NVIDIA GPU to install these drivers, you are going to download GeForce Experience. And then for AMD, you are going to go to the link that's in the description, then select the operating system, maybe it's Windows 10, maybe it's Windows 11, and then click on download to install the Radeon software to install your drivers. Once you finish the drivers installation, this is the most important part. And the next part, is going to be installing your motherboard drivers and the way to do this is going on Google once again searching for your motherboard model and then drivers installation. For example Gigabyte C690 Gaming X DDR4 drivers then you go to the Gigabyte website and you download every driver from here. The next step is downloading every application that you like. I usually download Steam, Discord, and programs that I use on my daily basis. And of course, I install every game that I like because if I buy a gaming PC, I do want to do gaming. So there you have it. It's a very simple process to start gaming after you build a PC. But there are a couple of bonus things that I do recommend you doing. And in some cases, you need to do this first before even posting your PC. The first one is a BIOS flashback update. If your motherboard does not support your CPU because of the version of your BIOS, you will need to update it. And if you are wondering how do you update your BIOS, well, the first thing is your motherboard has to have a BIOS flashback button. If it doesn't, you will need to buy a new motherboard with BIOS flashback or a new CPU that can be supported by that motherboard. That way, you can update it. If you have BIOS flashback on your motherboard, then it depends on the motherboard that you have. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube for each motherboard. So of course I cannot give you one answer for everything, but you should search on YouTube your motherboard model and then how to update BIOS or BIOS flashback. Once you update the BIOS, another important thing is going into the BIOS and enable XMP to have the maximum RAM speed that you can. And it doesn't matter if you needed to update your BIOS or not before. You should do this even if you don't have BIOS flashback and you are using your PC. Once again, search on Google how to open the BIOS in your specific motherboard. And then once you get into your BIOS, it will look different depending on the motherboard. But for example, in MSI motherboards, you can see it says XMP Profile 1 there. And that means that it's activated. So you are taking advantage of the maximum speeds of your RAM, which can can be very beneficial when it comes to gaming, especially in games like CS2. This was a very short video, but I wanted to make it as short as possible and give you as much value as I possibly can. That way you don't have to see a 30 minute video on how to set up everything because it's very simple. You don't have to overcomplicate it. And if you are looking for a new gaming PC, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds for every budget and every resolution. You will have that one in the top right of the screen and I will see you on the next one.